The Senate will come to order. Today's opening prayer will be offered by Rabbi Mendy Greenberg, director of the Matsu Jewish Center Shabav Lavovich in Palmer, Alaska. <clears throat> Almighty God, Master of the Universe, we stand before you in prayer. In these troubling times, when innocent men, women, and children have lost their lives and millions fled their homeland due to the catastrophic war in Ukraine. In the words of King David, Psalms chapter 121, I lift my eyes to the mountains. From where will my help come? My help will come from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. May you, almighty God, grant the members of this honorable body wisdom and understanding that the ultimate way to eliminate the cause of war and bring true peace to the world is by embodying the universal values of the seven commandments issued to Noah after the great flood, foremost of which is not to commit murder. Almighty God, I beseech you to bless the U.S. Senate assembled today to fulfill one of your seven commandments to govern by just laws. And in the merit of the global spiritual giant and leader, your servant, the Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem M. Schneerson, whose 120th birthday will be celebrated this coming month on the 11th day of Nisan, Tuesday, April 12th. In 1978, this honorable body established the Rebbe's birthday as Education and Shearing Day USA and is proclaimed annually by the President of the United States in recognition of the Rebbe's global campaign to bring awareness and educate our youth about these ethical values of the seven, command of the seven Noahide laws as the basis for a just and compassionate society. Almighty God, may it be in the merit of realizing the Rebbe's vision for humanity, we speedily see the fulfillment of Isaiah's promise. Nation shall not lift sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. With the coming of Mashiach, amen. Amen. Fantastic thought. Thank you. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, thank you for uh, allowing me to open the Senate with you. And um, it was a true honor to have Rabbi Mendy Greenberg, uh, who is doing amazing work in Palmer, Alaska, open the Senate with his very powerful and meaningful prayer and very appropriate prayer for what's happening in the world. I just want to say a little bit about our uh, incredible Jewish community in Alaska. Um, Rabbi Greenberg's parents were actually up um, in the gallery watching uh, his father, Rabbi Greenberg, and his incredible wife, Esti. And I just want to say what they do for our community, communities throughout Alaska is so powerful, so meaningful, and touches so many lives, way beyond the Jewish community of Alaska, way beyond that community. You know, they often, and I love the, the phrase, refer to the, our wonderful Jewish community in Alaska, the frozen chosen. Uh, because we, it's a little cold in our state, as m most Americans know. But here's the thing about this community. They are incredible in terms of bringing all Alaskans together. We have this annual event called the Jewish Gala that has hundreds and hundreds of Alaskans of all faiths who participate in this every year. It's one of my favorite things to do uh, as an Alaskan, to come and celebrate not just the Jewish community, but the spirit of togetherness, the spirit of faith, and the spirit of taking care of one another. That's what this incredible community does, led by both Rabbi Greenbergs, who we saw the younger today, give this uh, very powerful prayer, 
and I just want to thank him and his parents for being here today. You know, it's not always easy to get to D.C. from Alaska, a couple thousand miles at least. And so um, to our Jewish community back home, to the Greenbergs for all they've done, uh, I just want to, on the Senate floor here, offer my deepest thanks for the example they set for the entire state of Alaska. It's great having them here, and what they do for our state is really powerful, really important. So thank you, Madam President, for allowing me to participate in the opening and the prayer this morning. I yield the floor.